Hi there, welcome to Noctis on YouTube. Rough waves, bad weather, and the unpredictability of the sea often deter people from traveling by boat. However, there's no need to worry anymore, as there are several boats designed with high levels of safety and comfort. Most of these boats are specifically crafted for rescue missions or evacuations in the middle of the sea. Among the many vessels, here are five boats recognized as the safest in the ocean. RNLI Hovercraft H003 The RNLI Hovercraft H003 is actually a search and rescue SAR boat currently sailing under the flag of the United Kingdom. This rescue boat measures 8 meters in length, 3.36 meters in width, and weighs around 3.86 tons. Operated by the Royal National Lifeboat Institution or RNLI since 2002, it can accommodate up to 10 people in one trip. Powered by two Volkswagen AVM 1.9-liter four-cylinder turbocharged diesel engines generating 84 horsepower, it carries a fuel capacity of 127 liters, allowing it to reach a maximum speed of 30 knots or approximately 55 kilometers per hour. The Hovercraft H003 is designed to maneuver through challenging routes such as estuaries, shallow waters, and muddy terrains. Equipped with two inflatable sponsons, it provides stability, additional buoyancy, and a gentle approach for victim recovery. It also features specialized mud rescue equipment to free trapped victims and complete medical gear including oxygen, resuscitation equipment, Antonox for pain relief, large response bags, and two different stretchers. RNLI Tamar Class In addition to the hovercraft H003, RNLI also operates another rescue vessel known as the RNLI Tamar Class recognized as one of the safest boats globally. Introduced in 2005, it measures 16.3 meters in length, 5.3 meters in width, with a draft of 1.4 meters and weighs 32 tons, making it twice the size of the hovercraft H003. Powered by a pair of 1,000 horsepower Caterpillar C18 engines and five blade fixed pitch propellers, its fuel tank can hold up to 4,600 liters. With this setup, the vessel can achieve a speed of 25 knots or 46 kilometers per hour and has a range of 250 nautical miles or 460 kilometers. With a unique feature, the Tamar class can self-right if overturned, ensuring safety even in challenging conditions. Similar to the hovercraft H003, it's equipped with comprehensive medical equipment including oxygen, complete resuscitation equipment, Antonox, large response bags, and three different stretchers. Viking Lifecraft 360 The Viking Lifecraft 360 is a rescue boat designed for safe and comfortable passenger evacuation. After a decade of development, it gained official approval from the Danish Maritime Authority. Designed with a lighter weight to reduce deck load compared to traditional lifeboats, the Viking Lifecraft system includes a lifting yoke 
that moves the craft into four positions, from storage to launch preparation and into the water, all overseen by safety officers and fully automated, supported by extensive training. Its power comes from a redundantly powered ship, including stored energy with accumulators or the ability to operate from the ship's emergency generator. The Lifecraft system is the first alternative system with a unique design capable of handling various trim and list conditions. It can maneuver rapidly with a 360-degree turning capability and has been tested in harsh sea conditions with temperatures up to 25 degrees Celsius. Interceptor 48 The Interceptor 48 is a search and rescue vessel measuring 15 meters in length, 4.3 meters in width, and with a draft of 1.4 meters. Powered by Volvo D11 engines producing 500 to 600 horsepower and equipped with a 2,000-liter fuel tank, it can reach a maximum speed of 25 knots or approximately 46 kilometers per hour. Capable of operating in all weather conditions, it has proven itself in extreme wind and wave conditions up to Beaufort Force 10 and 6-meter waves. Remarkably, the Interceptor 48 can self-repair and recover after being overturned by large waves in the open sea. It accommodates 22 individuals, including six crew members in the main cabin, with shock-mitigating seating and additional seats for three passengers or survivors. Vanguard SPHL Lastly, there's the Vanguard self-propelled hyperbaric lifeboat or Vanguard SPHL, available in various lengths from 9.5 meters to 13 meters and weighing between 15 to 24 tons. Built according to MED or SOLAS and IMO Resolution Article 692, Chapter 17, Guidelines and Specifications for Hyperbaric Evacuation Systems and NORSOC Standards for Manned Subsea Operations, the SPHL allows divers from dive support vessels or DSVs to be rescued from diving incidents. They are only utilized in major incidents requiring evacuation from the main dive vessel. Equipped with all necessary equipment such as engines, generators, crew facilities, and a life support system providing self-sustaining capabilities for up to 72 hours, the SPHL features two on-off-load lifting hooks made of stainless steel for standard David launching. The reinforced towing point at the bow allows the SPHL to be towed by a support vessel or recovered onto a recovery vessel's track. Towing and lifting operations can be performed from the helm station without any hazardous operations outside the SPHL. During major incidents, the SPHL excavates and rescues divers from the subsea support vessel when they are in hyperbaric conditions. Designed and built according to SOLAS 86 and CLASS regulations approved by ABS and DNV, the Vanguard SPHL can support diving depths of up to 300 meters, demonstrating excellent sea keeping and maneuverability with additional bow thrusters. It features superior interval space for ocean maneuvering and provides ample storage for essential medical supplies such as oxygen, stretchers, and more. 
with the availability of these safe boats worldwide, it's not surprising that maritime rescue and evacuation systems will operate much smoother and efficiently, ultimately saving more lives.